Hiya, I'm John from Reverend and the Makers, and today I'm going to talk about my club. The first time I watched Wednesday, we're actually at Sheffield United ground. Bram and Liam used to play in a thing called the Steel City Cup in the 80s. Wednesday played in green hoops like Celtic, and I think we, it was a nil-nil draw. But when I first used to come watching Wednesday at Hillsborough, we were with my dad. We used to sit on Gangway A, North Stand, me, my dad, his mate Barry, and uh, our Chris. And uh, been coming ever since, season ticket holder, man and boy. And uh, here we are, come on. Such a fan of this, no found happiness, I don't ever want to move. Here we are, the home of football. People call this place the, uh, the old lady, because it's one of the grand old grounds of British football, Euro 96, 1966 World Cup. Pelly's played here with Santos. A lot of history in this place. So yeah, here we are, home team, let's go. Oh yeah, Harry, where can I sit? Let me have a look. Only one place I can sit in there. Little Barry's seat, there's little feet here. What a man. Players that stand out to me in the history of Sheffield Wednesday would be Chris Waddle, John Sheridan, David Hurst, Carlton Palmer, Roland Nielsen, that this sort of team of the 93 kind of era. Going on from winning the League Cup in 91 forwards to them kind of great FA Cup and League Cup battles with Arsenal. They're really, that's really kind of Wednesday's classic team, but also moving forward, Paolo Di Canio, incredible player, Carboni, and this guy who, who really we don't deserve it. It's just his world and we happen to live in it. He's just an incredible footballer and a great lad as well, it seems. He's, whenever I've like, spoke to him, he seems like a, a top fella. So we're very lucky to have him. Right. Let's go to the pitch. Been some great matches in here. Best atmosphere I've ever seen in here. Um, we played Brighton in a league, uh, a championship playoff semi. And really spontaneously, it sounds a bit like a take that concert, but it's not. It was totally spontaneous. Everyone got the phone and held it with the light on. 37,000, just unbelievable. Oh, I love it here. Oh. Here we are, look at this. Pictures like a carpet. Look at it, it's beautiful. You know, we had a flood here once. The river runs down here. We had a terrible flood and they were like water up to here. Uh, but obviously now Mr Chancey has put a load of uh, new undersoil business in. And look at it, could eat your dinner off there, couldn't you? Seen a lot of amazing goals here. One that sticks in my mind is Atty New You, little short corner here, curled it, top bins. But it, really and truly, one of the best goals I've ever seen at Hillsborough was scored by me. Yeah, so there's a charity match that gets played here every year and sometimes I captain uh, one of the teams and we were 3-1 down to uh, John Windle of Little Man Tate's um, chosen 11 and we scored three in injury time. Ball got pulled back to me and I creamed it, top, top bins. Oh my God, what a goal. I just want to be laid out, probably the bosom of a warm embrace. My mate Sean has been the sort of announcer for as long as I can remember. His little box up there is where he spends his time. One of our most famous fans sits on this bit here. Tango, you may know him from England matches. People think he's like some nutter, but he's a lovely, lovely human Tango, a really nice fella. He sits there. The band, the Sheffield Wednesday band, who are also the England band, they're up there. And then you can see here the clock, which is uh, one of uh, the oldest parts of the ground. We're called Wednesday because we were formed on a Wednesday. Come and I'll show you one of the best views in the ground. It's a bit of a trick, but altitude sickness, come on. Look at that, come on. Beautiful. 
So I sit over here, north stand. That's my seat, but I've had a, I've had a season ticket on, on every stand. Started at north, went to west and lower for two seasons randomly. Then me and Chris sat on here. Then we had some season tickets there. And now we're back on north on a spiritual home. Coming off the pitch, number two, Liam Palmer, to be replaced by number 16, John McClure. So my mate, Sean, actually does that. I know him. Uh, his missus, Sarah, works with my mum. And he's the Wednesday announcer and has been forever. Plays all songs here. When I was first ever in a band, like 20 years ago, I brought him a CD and I begged him to play it. Like, knocked on this door like, Sean, please play it, please play it. And he did. Uh, we have like 30, 40,000 people in the park across there. Which is amazing to play to that many people in your own town. Uh, and they use the Sheffield Wednesday ground as the dressing room. Right over there in the boxes. Uh, that's where we get ready to go on stage, which is amazing. Played this year, played our new single, Heat Wave in the Cold North, which uh, became the record uh, of the week on Radio 2. And yeah, we've got a new album coming out next year, which is also called Heat Wave in the Cold North. In new Year is a proper single that's called Problems. A tour in February, album in March. I've also just come back from Africa. I've been two months overland mostly to Zambia, Kid Sheffield's twin city of Kitway, making sort of a lot of content, TikTok, social media content, also a documentary, a lot of photos, some writing, and that's gonna be uh, seeing the light of day in 2023. So very busy making some records for some other people. I've also got a bus coming with my face on side. I'm gonna be playing some gigs on this bus, which is a bit crackers. Doing my thing on Christmas day where I uh, play some gigs to people on Zoom. Uh, and yeah, everything's everything's good, very busy, uh, and continuing to watch uh, the Mighty Sheffield Wednesday, which hopefully will result in um, a promotion. I feel good about this year, I feel like Ipswich are starting to twitch, and we're right behind them, I feel like this could be the year. So I'd like to wish Darren Moore and all the boys um, good luck, and uh, thank you to our Lord and Saviour, Barry Bannon.